Hey guys, Johnny here from Johnny as well. And right here I have my ESOB Rebel 205 IC, and this is an AC DC machine. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick little video on showing you guys how easy it is to transfer from MIG to TIG. Uh, I leave some stuff already set up. My machine stays here for the most part, so I leave everything plugged in and ready to go. So in the back, I don't know if you can see the video, I have my 7525 uh, MIG gas mix I'm going into where the MIG is, and then I have my Ergon plugged in as well. So I have both plugged in, I have both tanks ready to go, and um, what I do is I leave the where the TIG torch is, it plugs into where the Ergon would be coming out. Ergon. Um, I just leave that plugged in, so I don't mess with it. So the only thing I have to switch when it comes to TIG welding, opposed to MIG. So right now it's set up for MIG, is I unplug the MIG torch, I move my ground over, Okay, I take my TIG leads, plug that in. So I have my gas plugged in, I have my torch plugged in, and I have my ground plugged in. So next step is to unplug the electrical for the MIG gun and plug in the, if you have it, the foot pedal for TIG. Plug that in. So next step is just to switch the settings on here and we're already ready to TIG weld. Super easy to switch back and forth. I like that in my shop because I'm constantly switching from MIG to TIG to stick. Not so much stick anymore, but MIG and TIG, constantly going back and forth on different parts, um, depending on what the, the part calls for or whatever the customer wants. So um, super easy as you can see as long as you leave them kind of relatively set up, it's easy to switch back and forth. So, turn off your uh, MIG gas, turn on your TIG gas, and we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so the settings I was on for MIG is either S MIG, like Smart MIG, I believe, or just regular MIG. Um, so that's what I was on before. Let's just say we're on S MIG. Um, so, before I did any of the screen um, the setting changes, I went ahead and, so after I plugged everything in for TIG, you could do that before or after, I just go home, Scroll over to DC TIG or AC, depending on which uh, you're welding aluminum or not. DC TIG tells you to make sure um, where everything needs to be. So the torch is going to be on the right side on the negative, and we're good to go. Um, that's it. I already have my, it saves your parameters, at least so when you come back to that, um, your TIG setting, it's already there. Um, and then when you go back to MIG, the MIG will stay the same as well. So now we're ready to start welding. My gas plugged in, and my two tanks, Argon and 7525, ready to go. All right, so now that we have it set up for TIG, I decided to switch it back to MIG so you guys can see how easy it is. I have not changed anything since the last video just a second ago, so we're gonna go ahead and switch it. So, take my TIG leads out. Switch the ground over. Take the MIG power source and unplug the foot pedal. Plug in the MIG gun power source. Plug the MIG gun in down here as far as the lead goes. And then and then we are going to switch from TIG. We're gonna to go to our home setting. We're gonna go over to MIG. And see our settings will still be there. 023 wire, and then that's how I, what I had it at last was 140 amps. If we go to MIG, I think this is what I was using last. 170 amps, 17.5 volts. So super easy to switch back and forth. Highly recommend it. Um, this machine, if you're looking for something to be able to be, um, to do everything and do everything well. So thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Johnny S. Weld. And don't forget to follow Edge Welding Cups.